So I've been thinking of doing a ranking video of the supernovas from One Piece. I didn't feel like doing it until I watched Tekken's video of the Kid Pirates. And I was like, you know what? I'm making that video idea. So this is the video. I will be excluding Luffy and Zoro because they're my top two favorites. So it would be obvious who would be ranked highest. Let's get into it. The one I rank the lowest is Rouge. And that's mostly because we don't know much about him. At one point, I forgot that he existed. I thought he was just some rando in that scene with him and Kaido. I do want to learn more about this character because he does seem like he could be interesting. But for right now, he's the lowest ranked supernova. The second lowest ranked supernova is Hawkins. And that's because he sucks. I don't really like him. He's such a dumb character. Even though he does have a cool devil fruit, I don't really think he adds anything to Wano. His fight with Killer was pretty cool, but still, I don't think he needed to be in that arc. The third lowest ranked supernova is X Drake. As much as I like the twist that he's a secret agent for the Marines, and that moment when he joins the raid in Onigashima, he really didn't do anything, and uh, spoilers, but uh, he got destroyed by CP0. I think it's possible that he might become an interesting character later on, but for now, he's just uninteresting to me. Scratch Man Apu, a character that is, um, eh, but he is more interesting than the other three. I do find his Devil Fruit pretty interesting in how it works, and I do like his voice, but other than that, I'm kind of mixed on this character. <laughs> in fifth place, we have Julia Bronny. This is another character we don't know much about. I do like that she is glutinous, and I find it interesting that she seems to have some sort of relationship with Kuma. Her Devil Fruit is pretty interesting too, not as cool as a lot of them, but still interesting. I didn't really expect expected this, but Killer is in fourth place. I mean, out of all the ones I talked about so far, Killer is one we know the most and is the most interesting. I like his design and the weapons that he uses. I also like his relationship with Kid. And now that he ate the smile fruit, him laughing nonstop makes him more of a psycho, which makes him cooler in my book. Because I, I, I really like psychotic characters. We're now in the top three, and the one in third place is Beiji. I gotta be honest, I forgot this guy existed until the Zoark. I don't know why, I guess he didn't interest me in Sabayori that I erased him from my memory. Beiji is one of the characters I think made Whole Cake Island. Even though his plan completely failed, he still has some awesome moments. I also love that even though he's a terrible person, he loves his family and will do anything to protect them. It's one of the things I like about One Piece. I love that the characters aren't all black and white and that most of them have little gray areas like Beiji. And the one in second place goes to, you guessed it, Law. Let me explain. I thought Law had a cool devil fruit, but I honestly didn't find him interesting until Dress Rosa. I didn't really see any appeal towards him except his devil fruit and sort of his design, but his design reminded me of someone I can't stand, so I didn't really like it for a while. I was pretty hyped for this character since he was pretty popular, so I was like, oh cool, I get to know what he's all about. Oh, he's got an interesting devil fruit. Oh cool, he's in Punk Hazard. Oh, he's uh, he, he's just cool and nothing else. He isn't so real cool. Just Rosa definitely changed my mind about it. His ambitions and his backstory is what made me love him as a character. So yeah, that's my unpopular opinion. Now to my next unpopular opinion. My number one favorite supernova is just this kid. Yes, I do agree. Kid wasn't as cool as Law in Onigashima, but he was the supernova in Sabayori that I wanted to see more of. I like his design and his personality. I like that he's a psychotic idiot that wants to kill the Yonko without strategizing. He literally lost his arm because he thought it was a good idea to fight Shanks. As for his Devil Fruit, eh, he, he, he has his moments with it, but it definitely needs some improvement. Overall, I'm a big fan of this character and I wish he was as cool as Luffy and Law in, in Onigashima. Well, maybe someday he'll have that chance. Well, that's my list. I wanted to make this video just to express my unpopular opinions about Law and Kid. And that's the end of the video. See you guys next time. End video.